Hi, and in this video, we're going to set up a full stack application with Synergy.js and with Laravel. So let's begin. And first of all, I'm going to create a new Laravel application by using Composer. You can use Laravel CLI if you want to set up a new Laravel application by, but I'm going to do this by this way. So Composer creates a project, Laravel, Laravel, and Inertia React project. Okay, so now let's wait until project will be generated. And after that, we'll, we're going to install all dependencies that we need for the server side. So I'm going to open this project now in Visual Studio Code. Okay, so first of all, let's install a composer dependencies that we need for Inertia.js and it will be this dependency. So composer require Inertia.js, Inertia Laravel. So hit enter. And the next step is to configure a new file in resources folder that will be named app.blade.php and it will be in views folder as it said so let's type here at blade, at, at, at blade at PHP, and you will need to pass this code so in this tutorial i'm going to use vjs for compiling our code so type this code and you will need also to delete this code from the you will need to delete i mean delete this welcome that blade.php file okay and now we need to create a new php inertia middleware so to do that you will need to type this command php artisan inertia middleware and it will automatically generate a new middleware as well need for inertia.js and you will need to open kernel.php file and you will go to middleware groups and to web group and type this code so app http middleware under inertia request and yeah that's all that we need for server side setup and now it's time to stop start a clean site so first of all we will need to install a few dependencies so first you install inertia.js react after this you install vjs plugin react and react and react dom so that's all that you need install all these dependencies and after that we will need to delete bootstrap.js file oh yeah oh i created a minify version of the bootstrap.js file so let's let me delete this file and now let's go to the app.js and here we will need to type one code but before we're gonna do this let's go to the vid config and here we will need to use a plugin that we just installed for react application so to do that i'm going to copy one code so all this codes so type here import react from vgs plugin react so this dependency we just installed as you can see here and type here plugins react we will need we will need this to use vgs and react.js okay now let's go back to the app.js file and first let's rename this file to app.js6 so in this tutorial i'm going to use js6 syntax and now i'm going to paste the next code that you will see now so import react from react and this code is created the main component of the our application this is app component okay and all components will be saved in pages folder so as you can see there is one function that is working to resolving components and as you can see we have path to pages folder and we are going to use js6 syntaxes as i said so now let's try to create a, a new component that will be named test.js6 and for example let's first uh, import here react and also we can use state import and we are, we are going to import all this stuff from the react package so let's type here from react and now let's type here const test equal arrow function now let's create a here return statement and let's type here heading one this is test component okay let's save it and now let's type here export default test Okay, so we just created a new component and now it's time to render this component if we go, for example, to home page. So first let's import here inertia, inertia class and we are going to use this inertia class to render components that we just created so type here inertia render so you will need this to, you will need to use this function if you want to render something if you don't know what this function do and now we need to type name of the components that we want to render and it will be test so i'm going to type here name of this component test and yeah that's all that we need so now let's type here npm run dev and let's see okay we don't have any errors that's really good and now let's start local server of the 
Laravel application. So we type PHP RT Sun Serve and now let's open our browser and check our application. Okay, if you open browser, you can see I forget to install one dependency that is named Inertia.js Inertia React. So to fix it, let's open Visual Studio Code and let's go to our terminal and let's install this dependency. So let's type here npm install and you will need to install Inertia.js Inertia-React. Let's wait until this package will be installed and as you can see, this package is successfully installed. That means that we can now go to browser again and we can refresh this page. And as you can see, everything works fine and we, do, we don't have any errors in our console. We have we can see that React is working. So that's all for this lesson. So thanks for watching. Uh, this was a really short video because and why I created this video because I tried to, you know, find some nice article where I can see how you can set up Inertia IGS with, with React. But I found just some bad articles and that's the reason why I created this video. So thanks for watching and soon I'm going also to publish a new tutorial where we're gonna create a application with React, Inertia.js and Laravel. So thanks for watching.